my name is Caitlin No. I'm here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, Massachusetts to talk to you about bassoon finger technique. The bassoon is the only wind instrument for which you need all 10 fingers to play. Other instruments use only one thumb, maybe, but the bassoon uses all 10 of your fingers, including both of your thumbs. You actually have 13 separate thumb keys for your instrument, so you'll be able to get very dexterous with all of your fingers. This is one of the reasons why it's so important to think when you sit down about your seat strap. Your seat strap should ideally be positioned in a way that you can hold all of the weight of your instrument right on this part of your hand, your left hand specifically. So this is the area right behind the knuckle of your pointer finger. There's a little ledge here that can hold all of the weight of your instrument. Once that part of your hand is holding the weight, the rest of your fingers are free to move without any restrictions that they would have by holding up weight from your instrument. So, when you place your fingers on the keys, let's, we're going to talk about the front of the instrument first. So when you place your fingers on the instrument over either the keys or the holes for your fingers, you want to make sure that you have a gentle curve in all of the knuckles on your hand. What we don't want to have happen is to have this first knuckle here collapse as you press down. The reason why is you're just doing too much work that way. It takes many more muscles to pull your finger up if your first knuckle is collapsed like this than it does if it's just lightly placed. You'll find it's much easier to play faster and you will be able to cover the hole completely if you play this way. So again, we take the instrument, bring it across our bodies, adjust your seat strap so that you can hold your instrument only with this front ledge on your hand and then gently curve your fingers over the keys without collapsing your first knuckle. Best way to play from the front half of the instrument. The right hand is placed on the boot of your instrument. In order to use your thumb keys, and you have four of them back here, one, two, three, four, you're mainly going to be using this part of your thumb, the pad of your thumb. And you can just slide between all four very simply using that part of your finger. Now, your left thumb has a little bit of a more difficult job, but you will be able to master this skill with time. So your left thumb has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine keys that it needs to be able to manipulate. Because of the way that it's laid out, you will sometimes need to use the side of your thumb and the pad of your thumb to play. And this is okay. You will also find that you will probably need to manipulate your knuckle differently than you do on your other hand. If you find yourself playing with your thumb collapsed like this, see how my knuckle is collapsed? In this case, that's okay because your instrument and your body is laid out in such a way that that just may be how you have to play your instrument. And you'll be able to learn how to do that in time and learn what your comfort level is. Thank <laughs> you.